Okay, hiya. Um, okay, this video is going to be in parts, so it doesn't take so long to upload, as that's what I had trouble with with my last video. Um, so this is going to be my room tour, and my cage tour. Now, I haven't done one of these in a little while, so I thought it would be quite cool to see the completed, updated version, um, like, properly, so let's have a look then. Okay, well, today, in my two girls, Laurie and Lottie's cage, which Laurie is showcasing is the lap pad. Not, not a lap pad, the heat pad. My bad. <laughs> um... I got it from Pets at Home and it cost, if it was either £20 or £25. Um, and you put it in the microwave and it gives you instructions on it, on like a little sticker, and it tells you what heat to have it depending on the watts of your microwave. And because mine is 700, I keep it in on high for about 7 or 6 minutes. For inside purposes, I use it for about 6 or 5 because I don't want it to be too overheated. So. Of outside, I do put it on for seven or eight to keep it longer, and it stays on for up to about eight hours. It gradually decreases in heat, but it's great and it keeps them warm. And I thought it'd be quite nice just to cuddle on inside for a little bit, so I thought, yeah, I might as well just add it to it. And here is Lottie in all her glory, she's laying by the side of her. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're nice and cuddly. <laughs> My little girls. It's okay. There's two of my girls. And in her cage they have two wooden logs, bell and barrel, ladybug chew, the food bowl and the ball that they are getting rid of. <laughs> this is their hay Holder and their hay boy is getting refilled at the minute, and their litter tray. And in Lily's bottom of the cage, I've just cleaned her out, and then she ran down and she made it this mess. I was like, I've just cleaned you out, and it looks just as messy as it did before. So I was like, oh, but I have this new sign over here, Winter Wonderland. So I thought that was quite cute. So. This is the bottom, she has one of the little tree balls, wooden cut down um, oh, tunnel, her bell and ball, I would say, the parrot chew, and her cosy bed, and her tunnel. And in the kitchen she just has her lap pad, and there's Lily herself, and my little girl, and her food bowl. Simple. Okay, this is the first part of the video, so I will see you back in a minute. Okay, for the second part, you may be wondering what this is. Now, I had an idea that I wanted some extra storage to put my um, treat and grooming supply box on, and as it wouldn't fit in the storage cube things. So, <laughs> so I thought I would build something that I could lean it on. And so I came up with this idea with my spare grids. I came up with this idea, and I've got corex on the outside, which I've had to scavenge from the remainders of their cage corex, just to make the sides. Um, it doesn't really need sides, but I think it makes it stand out a little bit better. So I thought, yeah, why not? I'm going to get another big square piece of corex, um, a four by four, so then I can um, create an actual like little ledge for this so it actually has a corex base as well to keep it more supported and then I'm going to get some little metal rods to put underneath and go through the grid so then it will keep it upright and level and extra supported so yeah this is just for storage really and I've had some of the storage from it this morning but I took it off to get you a perfect and clear view there are hay boys up there because I didn't want to put it on the floor or else I'll kick it around um, so yeah this is the ledge and I thought it was quite cool idea because it could also allow Lily to have some hanging toys. And that's what I really wanted her to have because these guys can have hanging toys from this little bit under her kitchen. But Lily didn't really have anything dangling so I thought I'd get her one of those. 
So it's just like a little storage, but it's not completed yet, but when it is, it'd be quite cool, I would think. It can take the way to the, the treat box. Um, so that's great. So the next part of the video, which will be after this part, is going to be the rest of the room tour and my storage and a bit of everything else, which hasn't really changed that much, but I'll show you it anyway. Okay, well, I will see you in a minute. Bye bye. Okay guys, um, sorry about the backing noise now because the guinea pigs have just got their hay refilled up. Um, and now this part is for the storage. Um, and for the first part, this is the guinea pig pellet food, including Burgess, Wag and Muesli mix, which is this. And I also have my Becco scoop to retrieve the food. And then in this one, we have... Oh, it's got no lab no label. Oops. Um, but it's guinea pig pellet food with um, wag and muesli mix. I did used to give it to Lily, but now she's really stopped being that interested in it, so I'm going to put her on board just too. And in this one, we have snack balls, um, food wash stick, um, and the brush, extra bowls, water bottle warmers, some treats, um and some hay balls and extra balls in there and in this top one ooh, we have the bedding blankets which has that label on it um, which goes into the beds or Lily's kitchen mostly um, which I got from Poundland in here are the cage base blankets which are obviously for the bases of the blank of the cages like this purple one there um, so that's where these live in there and in here we have the store um, food shampoo um, some cleaning cloths some spray I have three bottles of spray now um, and some cloths extra food and stuff like that and some shampoo and in here we have some extra te like little tent toys. Their um, oh, their wood pellet um, litter bedding. Some extra housing. Let me get it open for you. Some extra toys. Some houses. If you can see that, probably not. It's too dark. Um, my hair dryers fell in there, but they have two extra big houses. Um, and some other stuff in there. And they also have their treats and grooming. Treats are in the bottom, and I've pretty much run out of the treats now that I've got, other than the fibre first. Got my cable ties, cellar tape, um, nail cutters, and cage building supplies and brushes, some clips, clips. Some needle needle less syringes, tape, and there were some treats in there, but they've gone. And some aloe vera gel and FNM ointment from Gorgeous Guineas. So that's my storage, and it also I've got it in this little box. Yeah, this with that sign on. That's pretty cool. Okay, well that's um, for the storage, so I'll see you in a minute for the rest. This is the hallway which I've had them out on this morning. This is their run which takes up most of the entirety of the hall. Um, so, and that bed's going to be washed, that's why it's left in there. Um, so yeah, it takes up most of the hall. They've had a nice little run around in it, and this cage is about the equi equivalent to a 3x4 or a 2x4 really. Because the grids are a little bit bigger than these. So this is their room. It has a lovely little sign which has my YouTube logo. Um, I have my posts up in here. As This was my bedroom and yes my bed used to be on my bed bunk believe it or not. Um, but I moved out and I got rid of my, ma my mattress to go live in the spare room for my piggies if you did not know. And so now they are housed inside permanently. Um, we have some care information on the walls over here for people that look after them. My photos, um, their storage compartments, 
my iPod, uh, more of my, uh, my storage compartments, which look a bit messy, um, my windowsill, um, the hay bag, I had a whole hay bale in here, which was up to the top of my windowsill, and it's gone down that much in about a couple of months, so yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> and obviously there are cage, um, my notice board, and my posters and my pictures and my shelf yippee <laughs> so yeah that's their room then underneath I have some extra drawers which have some of my other stuff in it top one has electric light music or iPod stuff um, second one has my makeup and my third one has some random gadgets and whatnot else my steps to get on my bunk bed <laughs> and their food that I've just showed you under my bed has some random other stuff which has got mostly Christmas presents under at the minute and their stuff on here which has also got labelled so pretty much it's um this was the box room and I had my wardrobe in that bit <laughs> um oh yeah and that's our little blanket bin bag um but yeah it's got plenty of space in it and they like their new room, and now look at them, they're all conked out. Laurie's under there, conked out. Lottie's on that heat pad, knocked out. And Lily is also knocked out. But I think I'll just wake her up. Oh, she's not going to be happy about that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's breakfast time for the guinea pigs now. So, um, if you want to stick around and watch me get the food, then I will do that for you in a second. So, thank you for watching this part, and I'll be back in a second for the food. Bye. Okay, so first off, if you can hear me over this tap, um, I wash out their food bowls every morning, as they always have goodness knows what in them. And it makes sure they're nice and clean, and I give them a little wash out after as well. take them over to the counter so now it's time to find their food I don't know what they've got today so let's have a look right we haven't got much in I've got to admit so we're going to have a bit of lettuce and I might even go outside and get something else so I'll be back I'll be back in one second bye bye Sorry about that guys, I'm dreadful with opening the door with one hand, so I had to do it on my own. Alright, okay, so what have we got in here for the guinea pigs today then? Um, this is sort of their own little kitchen with some of our little stuff in it. So I might have some carrots. These are fr like partially frozen at the minute, so they do get unfrozen before I give them to them. I'll put that in my pocket. <laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> um... They can have some cauliflower, and they've got some lettuce inside, and they've got some spinach too. That'd be enough. Okay, let's go. Ooh. And in we go. Oh, that was cold. Oh, and for people that haven't actually seen, out here is our little um, goldfish fish tank. It's um, made out of um, like a, um, a trough for farm animals, and it's a metal one, and we put it in kit with like um, pond liner and put some rocks and stuff in it, so I've got like six goldfish in there now, and it's proper cool. I'll have to show you that one day. Okay, we're back to the guinea pigs anyway. Okay. Right, so they're going to have some of the lettuce. So I just get a handful of each. They do normally have little gem lettuce, um, but we haven't got any in at the moment, so they're going to have to put up with me having this. That's, there you go. And some. Oh no, it's not cauliflower. It's cabbage. Oh, I really just can't get my words out today. I'm having a little bit of this. I don't give them too much um, cabbage because I just don't think it's too good for them. 
One second. I'm absolutely terrible with doing stuff like this with one hand. There you go, Lily has one piece, they have a piece each. Bitch. Oh, I thought it was going to fall off then. See what I mean? I'm absolutely terrible with my, um... Oh, that's a bit too much, isn't it? For Lily, and I know, that's a bit too much. There you go. A handful of spinach between them. I should put this in here now. Parents are going to kill me if, if they know I've used all that. <laughs> okay, so we might even have some apple. Do we have any apple? Yeah, we do. They can have a little small one. Oh, oh god, this is going to go everywhere, isn't it? Oh, oh I didn't do too bad with one hand, I guess. Not too bad. I've done worse. Okay, twist. And that's not bad. And one more. Like that. Okay. I'll go in the bin. Go back in the fridge. Okay, and I'll take them up and then I'll put you back on again. Bye bye. Okay, I'm back. I've just put the food back in for them, and as you can see, they seem to be taking taking it to it well. Lily's gone straight in and grabbed the cabbage out, which she actually loves. And that sweet hot cabbage, um, I find out. <laughs> so yeah, she likes that. And they've also got out the cabbage. And Lottie's eating some spinach. So it's all been good. I think it's all been received well. So yay. <laughs> oh, and I forgot that carrot. It's still in my pocket. <laughs> Let me see if I can spit it. Mm. Oh, this is a tough one. Mm. Oh no, I'll just give him one whole carrot. There you go. There you are, Lil. Eat, eat as much as you like. There you go. <laughs> now they've got to see how to get it out now. They're like, hmm. Oh, you've got it. <laughs> Good girl. She can do it. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. Um, it's had a bit of a variety of everything in it, really. Um, so I hope you've liked it. Um, sorry it's quite long-winded and keep had to be cut off and everything like that. But I find it easier to do it in short spurts than one long one. Um, so hopefully it'll upload this time and we'll have a lovely little video to see it at the end. Okay, well, thank you very much. Um, and I will see you very soon, I'm sure. Okay, bye-bye.